So the next thing I want to show you is splitting items under mouse and other under mouse actions. So as you probably know, to split our items, just put our cursor right where we want to create a split and click on it. That puts our edit cursor right on that spot. Type the S key and that splits our item right there. And then it selects the right side of the split. Let's do it over here or over here. But the one problem with this is you do have to click your items first and therefore move your edit or play cursor. I find it a lot quicker to avoid that and just split our items underneath my mouse. And there are a bunch of hidden actions that allow us to do that. Let's open up the actions by hitting the question mark, type into the filter split. And if we scroll down, we could see this is the action that the S key uses by default to split items at edit or play cursor and then select the right side. But if we scroll up a bit, there's a bunch of similar ones up here that'll split under the mouse cursor. So we don't have to click and move the edit or play cursor first. So if we want the same behavior where it selects the right side, we could choose this option instead. Let's assign the S key to this one, it replaces it. And now I could just put the mouse or cursor right over here, hit the S key, and it creates that split without having to click or move the edit cursor. The edit or play cursor is still in the same spot. Put it over here, make another split, go over here or here or so on. So I find that a bit quicker for creating splits. And if you don't want to select the right side, we could choose the left side instead or my personal preference to have no change of selection. Let's assign the S key to this instead. And now we could place our mouse or cursor right over here, type the S key, and it creates a split without making any selection or changing the current selection. Place it here, type S or here to very quickly create splits. And there's a bunch of other under mouse actions we could also use that are not currently assigned. Just type under mouse in the filter and we can see all the actions we could use that are based on what's going on under our mouse. Like my personal favorites is to trim the left edge under the mouse or the right edge under the mouse. So if we choose these and assign a keyboard shortcut, I'm gonna make this one A, may make this one B. Now we could trim based on the item under our mouse. So we could trim to the left by clicking over here, typing that key, and it trims the left side of the item or the right side by hitting the other keyboard shortcut. And we trimmed the left and right side that easily. But if we make this a custom action, we could do it again without having to click or move the edit or play cursor first. So let me show you the custom action I created. I created two of them, one for trimming left and one for trimming right. And if we look at how they work, it's gonna first move the edit cursor to the mouse cursor and then trim the left edge or right edge based on the item under the mouse. So if I sign those keyboard shortcuts to these instead, now we can do the same things without having to move our edit or play cursor first. So if I wanna trim the left side of this, hit that keyboard shortcut, it trims the left side. Hit the other keyboard shortcut to quickly trim the right side. And again, it doesn't create any selections and it trims without having to move the edit cursor first. Although it does move it afterwards, we could trim the left side or the right side and it trims the right side of the item. Over here or right side to very quickly trim our items to get rid of noise or for any reason we want. It's a very quick way to trim the left and right side of our items using custom actions, using actions under our mouse.